today, Microsoft's about to solve a huge issue. The RTX 4090s are still melting, Nvidia doesn't think they need gamers anymore, and AMD's new tech could see low-end cards beat the 4090? Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, if you remember a little while back, I went over a hidden screen that was discovered in Windows, and in it we saw controls for RGB lighting that suggested Microsoft was working on a first party solution to all the third party RGB software out there. Think about how great it would be not to have to worry about installing all this software for all the different RGB options in your PC. I'd say a dream come true, that's for sure. Well, it's now been made official. During Microsoft's annual developers conference, the company officially announced Announced that RGB controller is coming to Windows settings, and it's one place to control all your RGB hardware. As they state in it, RGB has become really fragmented, so they're implementing dynamic lighting. Apparently a preview for it is coming to Windows 11 as early as this month. Not only that, but they're planning to offer native support for other compression formats besides zip files. I'm talking RAR, 7-zip, and more, so you won't have to download a separate app for that. But first, things are getting really expensive, aren't they? I mean, food has gone through the roof, gas, you name it. Luckily, not everything has gotten absurd. Because for less than a cup of coffee a month, not a day, but a month, you can protect your data with the premium VPN and today's sponsor, Atlas VPN. That's right, for just $1.83 a month for three years when you visit my link in the description, you can protect yourself and your privacy. But Atlas VPN doesn't just reroute your internet traffic like other VPNs. VPNs, I'm talking they actually block malicious links, ads, and even trackers. But you can also lift geo-restricted content on streaming apps like Netflix, so you can watch your favorite shows. And get this, you get all of that for just $1.83 a month for three years with three months free when you visit the link in the description below. And at that price, you get it across all of your devices. You really can't beat that. But if you're still worried, Atlas VPN gives you a 30-day money-back guarantee. Once again, that's $1.83 a month for three years with three months free. So head to the link in the description below. And next up for today, it looks like Nvidia still isn't over their melting RTX 4090 connectors just yet. Originally, it was found that the failing 16-pin connectors were due to users not seating them correctly. But since then, there's been a number of other failures after months of usage. For example, one Redditor claimed that the connector was 100% seated correctly with click and all, but he started having issues with crashing. He then recently checked and saw that the cable had melted a bit. Luckily, when switching to another Another cable, it was fine. As some have pointed out, there's a line that suggests it wasn't 100% seated correctly, but he claims it absolutely was. Maybe it got there when he put the connector in and applied some kind of pressure to the side, or maybe the connector came out over time. I'm not sure, but there's another story that's very similar to this, along with other posters saying similar things. Basically, the 4090's connector could still have issues beyond seating correctly, or they may just be pulling out over time, which is really just as bad. Hopefully Hopefully NVIDIA can figure something out soon. Next up, we all know NVIDIA recently released their RTX 4060 Ti, and to say it got a terrible reception would be an understatement. Simply put, the GPU is overpriced for its performance, needs more than 8GB of VRAM, it just sucks to be honest. If you followed this channel, you more or less already knew that, so if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to learn about PC hardware before it's released. To give you an idea of how bad it was, the 4060 Ti went on sale below MSRP just hours after it was launched. Ouch, babe. Very ouch. According to the report, in Germany, the Palette 4060 Ti, which was supposed to be an MSRP card, with MSRP in Europe being 439 euros, it was dropped to 419 euros at Mine Factory. And even with that, the retailer only sold five of those GPUs and just over 20 of all the 4060 Ti's. And that's the day of release. To further show how terrible this release was, a couple stores in a popular Tokyo shopping district were open for the release. And there was literally only one person there to buy it. Imagine going to say like an iPhone sales event only to have one person in line the whole time. So yeah, Nvidia is more or less flailing at this point given they're discounting GPUs the day they go on sale. Unfortunately, it may not matter as the company recently had their earnings call and while it shows an unreal year over year dip in gaming revenue of 38%, revenue from data center has risen to nearly double their gaming side total. And this is all thanks to AI. Nvidia predicts there will be 
at $11 billion in revenue in just a few short months. Once again, mostly thanks to AI. In fact, Nvidia didn't mention gaming once during the earnings call. Basically, the company clearly thinks they don't need gamers anymore. Though, of course, it's always best to diversify. You'd think they would have learned that from the crypto crash. My only fear is that Nvidia decides to move silicon made for gamers over to their AI side because it's generating more revenue. Time, as always, will tell. And lastly for today, a new leak shows us AMD may be set to completely decimate Nvidia. And I mean, it could have AMD's lowest end card beat Nvidia's 4090, maybe. We all know at this point that Nvidia's master plan with their 4000 series cards is to essentially release last gen's tech with DLSS3. Obviously, it's a bit more than that, but given Nvidia themselves admitted that the 4060 Ti is barely faster than the 3060 Ti, it's clear that DLSS3's frame generation was their biggest add-on. The issue is that it's more software than hardware. Sure, Nvidia claims that their last gen can't do it, but even AMD has confirmed that their new cards can, though they don't have the best of matrix cores. But here's the big news. AMD may do it even better. According to some new code put up by AMD on GPU Open, it mentions frame generation ratio, implying that you can get more than one frame generated for every real frame. Here it says 4, but that's likely in bits, meaning a possible number of between 0 and 15. And at first, I didn't really think much of it, but a recent post on Reddit claims that code from Nvidia on DLSS3 suggests up to 3 frames can be generated instead of just 1. Maybe that's something for Nvidia's next gen? I'm not sure, but if this means AMD AMD's FSR3 can make more than one frame per real frame, we could see way more than double their performance out of FSR3. Of course, that could add a ton of latency, but maybe AMD found some way around this? That or it could mean that AMD takes more than one real frame in per generated frame. The issue there is that it could make for latency differences when those generated frames occurred, which could be jarring. Oh yeah, and it also shows that it's likely AMD only, though with something like this, I'm not too surprised. Still a bummer though. Definitely take this with a grain of salt, but it's at least interesting to think about. So while that does it for today, are you excited for FSR 3 or are you just sick of all this upscaling and fake generated frames and all this? Do you just want to see regular real performance uplifts? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to sign up for Atlas VPN down in the description below. And as always, have a great day.